next up, how about we record not just this data, but also eight full tracks of audio. So far, we've only been recording stereo audio. Let's go ahead and record all of the individual tracks as audio channels in their own right. So I'm going to get rid of this one and I'm going to create another bunch of tracks. This time it's going to be audio. The audio input is going to be montage stereo. It's going to be one, nine and 10 montage part one. This is going to be ascending. The output is going to go to my stereo output and that's not ascending. I do want monitoring and record enabled and I want eight tracks. Hit create on those and let's play back. And uh, you might be expecting that well now we see uh, data on all eight channels, but uh, you would be mistaken. Right now we still have audio only on the main left and right channels. Why is that? Well, because if we go and look at what the uh, settings actually say, let's take a look at this particular part, hit edit on there, and under part settings we can see that this is still being sent to main left and right. And the same is true for part 8 and part 7 and part 6 etc. All of them are just going to the stereo output and that is the default for, as far as I'm aware, every single performance that comes with the montage. In order to split it out into the individual channels, you need to use another tool. Now, what you, what you could do is you could go in and say, right, well, part one, you need to use main left and right, and part two, you need to use um, USB stereo one and two or confusing something. Uh, but that takes a very long time and it's very dull. So a better way to do that is to use shift utility for quick setup and use quick setup three. Now it is important to note that these are not modes. They are actually just a set of instructions to change certain settings around. Um, but there's no complete state. So when I uh, come out of this, it won't know that it's in state three. It isn't really in state three. It's just executed the command for state three. What Quick Setup three actually does is it simply takes all of the parts of the performance and assigns them to the appropriate USB output. Like I said, with part one, all that does is turns local control on and off. And quick setup two, that just turns the ARP record on DAW off. But when I use this audio record on DAW quick setup, it will turn local control back on and it will also turn off the ARP rec arpeggio record on DAW. So to do what we want to do here, which is to record the arpeggiated data and all eight channels, we need to go and do some manual settings. So I'll run Quick Setup 3, then I'll go to MIDI I.O., turn off local control, and turn on ARP MIDI out. And now we have what we need. So let's get ready to record the entire thing. I have all 16 tracks, the eight MIDI tracks and the eight audio tracks armed for recording. Let's get recording and go. I think we've heard enough of that now. Uh, so now we do have the eight, the eight individual stereo output tracks. And I think that's a thing that lets us see what we've got. And the eight uh, tracks of MIDI. Now, one thing I do like to do here is um, I can take all of my audio tracks, having shift selected them, right click and say create stack tack, track stack. And I'm going to use a summing stack because I tend to want to use all of these together. Hit create on that, and now I've got this sum three. I'm going to call that montage eight channel audio. And now using the single set of commands for the stack, I can record enable and mute and everything else, all of the channels in there without having to do lots of shift selection. So that's a, a very useful little tool there. Having said that you can record all eight of these channels um, at the same time. I'm afraid if you have a Modi X, you cannot do that because you don't have 
that uh, huge number of um, stereo inputs and outputs. So what you're going to need to do is to take individual MIDI channels and record them, or, or individual um, stereo channels and record those at the same time. So let's delete all of those and show you how it would work on the Modi X. I'm going to not record enable everything. I'm just going to uh, mute all but one of these and I'm going to just set record on one of those and the result would be that when I hit play we're just going to record one channel at a time and when I'm done with that one we will mute that one and unmute that one and then set record enable on the second one and go again and there we go and we just build up our recording like that it's a little more long long-winded but um, it still works just as well